AITA for not telling my coworker that the man she is talking shit about is my husband? I'll keep this brief. I work for a moderately large company with mostly independent departments. We are in the same building. But we mostly stay within our department. For brevity's sake, my department deals with one region. My husband's department with another. A few months before COVID started I got a new co-worker and we became friendly soon. Not friends friends. Just casual co-worker relationship with a lot of small talk. One day she had to get something done in my husband's department and there was some trouble. As I understand it many things went wrong, technical issues. Server crash. Unhappy client. People were stressed and she got into some verbal confrontation. When she got back to our office she vented about, that asshole Smith. She asked me if I knew him. I said I did. Then she continued ranting about him. Insulting him. I just let her vent and soon we got back on track. As it should be obvious. That asshole Smith is my husband. In my country it is very uncommon for the wife not to take her husband's surname. But my name sounds weird with his surname. Think Sally Smith. The same letters. I don't like it. So I kept my maiden surname. I asked him later what was it about and he just waved his hand. Stuff happens. Tensions were high. No hard feelings. Well. She had to deal with his department a few more times. Fallout of the issue they were dealing with. And every time she went over to their floor she told me, wish me luck that I don't run into that. Dick again, and such. Then COVID happened. Home office ensued. My husband and I have each a separate home office. I work from the bedroom. He works from the living room. Time passed and just last week something happened. We are in our third lockdown by now. So home office again. I was on a Zoom meeting with my department. My co-worker was present. Cameras were on. My husband had some errands to do and he just dropped by the bedroom to grab something. He was clearly visible in my webcam. But as family members make cameos all the time nobody commented on it. My co-worker messaged me after the meeting asking me if that was Smith. I said yeah. We are married. Have been for 10 years. She called me and she sounded incredulous. How could I have not told her before? She said so much shit. And this is where my issue lies. Her problem with him was work related. It was not personal. Neither he nor I tool any offense and it just didn't occur to me to mention we are married. I am very private and so is he. Edit. Okay thinking more about this. It did occur to me to telephone her but by that point she had said so much shit that it would be incredibly awkward for us and normally our departments don't come into contact at all. So I suppose I hoped it will just fizzle out. Our other co-workers know it. Our relationship. But apparently she only ever ranted about him to me. So no other co-worked could have warned her. AITA? I should have told her. But then again she was being unprofessional. NTA. I mean she did ask you if you knew him and you said yes then she started her rant. I would have asked you if you've ever had a similar experience with Smith. You work in different departments and are keeping your personal and professional lives separate. I mean I'm sure your coworker feels embarrassed and possibility betrayed you never mentioned it to her but you had no obligation to mention it. What I really don't get is why you didn't tell her immediately. I am confused. It would have been one sentence, that asshole is my husband, just so you know. Unless there is a policy that couples are not allowed to work in the company? You embarrassed her and are now making it worse for yourself. Or do you think she will like you better now that she probably thinks you made fun of her with your husband? I get that you're a private person. But it just strikes me as so odd that when someone says, do you know Mr. Smith? You didn't reply, yes he's my husband. 
It's not a super personal detail. And it would have saved all of you a lot of embarrassment. NTA she's just embarrassed. NTA. It's always very funny to me that people react like it's your fault they sounded off about someone in front of you. As teens my brothers and I worked at the same place, a new starter once ranted to my brother about me. After I wouldn't let him clean the bar with dirty water. People just need to think a bit. Esh. Yes. She was being unprofessional. She shouldn't have been trash-talking a co-worker that incessantly no matter who that co-worker may or may not be married to. But you choosing not to tell her just strikes me as odd on your part. It's like you were watching her walk around with her fly down and chose not to mention anything. Why not just shut it down? Why keep letting her dig herself deeper and deeper? This is one of those situations where AITA has no reflection of the real world. No you are not an asshole for this. But it's a really really weird thing to have done and most people are going to think it was really odd in the real world. If I were her I'd be pissed too. Letting it go on so long seems like you're mocking her. You could have just said, actually Smith is my husband but I understand your frustration over this. And it's fine. Nah. Nah. I can understand why she is upset. She probably thinks you and your husband were laughing about each instance of her ranting behind her back. So long as you have not been there is no issue. If you have been that makes you in, ah because you should have told her the first time. Was she asking you if you knew him in the biblical sense? NTA. First rule of grumbling about someone at work. Subtly find out how the person you are talking to feels about that person before you commit yourself. She got as far as, do you know him, yes. Her next move should have been something like, have you had any issues with him? To which you'd probably have responded something like, not enough to stop me from having married him 10 years ago. And then she could have saved herself a lot of embarrassment. But then I work in a school where everyone knows everyone so you don't complain about someone until you're bloody sure of your audience. It would have been prudent for you to warn her by letting her know that you're not the best person to vent to about him. She trusted you and she continued to confide in you and it's a bit weird that you continued to make yourself available to her as what she thought was a sympathetic ear. It was a violation of her trust. NTA. My boyfriend and I worked for the same company for a few years, same deal. Same building but separate departments. Rarely interacted. I didn't like telling people we were dating because then they thought I had an in, in his department and that's just not how it worked. So I never told people unless they heard things and actually asked me if anyone is unprofessional. It's your coworker. Venting is one thing, but constantly making, hope I don't run into that dick type comments as another. She knows that and she is trying to make you feel like it's your fault. She is embarrassed. But she'll get over it. NTA it's none of her business for one. For two you said you knew him. For three she's the one making the situation weird by talking shit about some guy you know. YTA, when she asked, do you know this person, and you did not respond with, yes that is my husband, you are lying and also being incredibly naive. Also complaining about a co-worker is neither unprofessional or wrong. As you said, it's nothing personal. So why are you labeling a co-worker's venting as unprofessional? I'm going to go against the other judgments and say YTA. It's normal to vent and moan about co-workers. We all do it. Even if we don't really mean it. You should have told her the first time. I moan about my managers all the time, it's just at venting. I don't really mean what I say. 
but I would not do it to someone they were married to or their best friend. You probably made her feel really embarrassed. She probably thinks you've been talking about her SND laughing behind her back. I think you owe her an apology. Okay. The first time you let it go and didn't say anything. But then she thought she could continue venting to you. By then the damage was done. Seriously. I think you know in tour heart of hearts that you need to apologize and tell her you didn't mean to keep her in the dark and that you understand she was just venting and let her know there was no harm done. Esh. I was going with NTA until the last line. If the gossip, venting was within the range of what's acceptable at work, then I could understand leaving it. But if it was at the point where you're comfortable saying it was unprofessional, you needed to speak up to cut it off sooner. By not saying anything, you appeared to condone it. I can understand not mentioning it the first time. Because it would have been awkward. You needed to do it the second time. She needed to hear it. And it needed to be from you. Not accidentally and not from a co-worker. I'm putting Ash instead of YTA because I'm taking your word for it that she was being inappropriate. But everything you've described has just been office gossip. Out of curiosity, did what she said have any substance? Would your husband have benefited from knowing what people were complaining about? NTA. Your co-worker just learned a really valuable lesson about the nature of workplaces. You never know who is connected to whom. There's a saying, the toes you step on today may be connected to the ass you may have to kiss. Tomorrow. Your co-worker learned that the person she works with in this department is closely connected to the person she may have pissed off in another department. If you or your husband were the vindictive type, who knows what kind of trouble her ranting may have landed her in. Better to learn it with you than with someone else. Esh. She probably shouldn't be venting quite that much while at work. But unless you planned to keep it a secret for the rest of your working life this was inevitably going to come out at some time. Causing embarrassment. Distrust. ECT. YTA. Of course you should have told her. Exclamation mark. YTA you should have been honest with your coworker when you were asked a straight up question if you knew your own husband. It's mind-boggling as you why you wouldn't acknowledge your own marriage. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.